all right everybody welcome to your second c plus plus tutorial in which we'll be discussing about how to write a hello world program in c plus plus now in c plus plus we don't just write hello world like we do in html or javascript because in c plus plus we are actually directly communicating with the cpu so unlike any other language where we are communicating with another software in C++ we are directly talking to CPU with the help of just one software in between which is the compiler so even the compiler can be considered as a part of CPU so we need to be very precise and accurate syntax wise so as to avoid any errors so in C++ the first thing you do is include some files to work on now in C++ without including any file what you can do is just create some functions and that's pretty much it to do something useful you need to include some files so I'll just zoom in a little bit if that helps so you see that to include a file we make use of the hash include and inside a greater than and less than sign we type the name of the file you want to include so I'll just include IO stream now IO stream stands for input output stream and this would help you to display and get information from the user in the console so for now for the hello world we just need IO stream and the next thing we need to do is to type something as int main now I'll explain what I'm doing everything right here so once we are done with int main just write this uh, curly braces you can say and write std two columns c out and greater than signs and hello world I know it is looking a kind of mess right now to you guys but trust me it's really simple to understand now I will be discussing what each of these components is doing so first of all we are including this iostream file just for this line otherwise we don't need this file because without this line the C++ compiler doesn't know what C out is and so do you right now so you don't know what C out is I'll tell you now C out is a stream object in C++ and we'll be talking more about that in my future tutorials but for now just remember that stream objects are something which are um, used to handle data and C out is a stream object which outputs your data on the console screen so this would simply output hello world on the console screen whenever I would run this program and what about this STD keyword now this STD um, is a namespace in which C out is defined and I know you won't be getting what is namespace right now and trust me you don't need that to get at this moment either so we would be talking more about namespaces in future tutorial because it would be too early to talk about that for now just remember that every of the file has a custom namespace and you need to use that before using anything from that file and if you want to avoid this namespace what you can do is at the type at the top write using namespace std now pretty much simple to understand it just says that we are using the namespace std so if you don't encounter um, or if you encounter any strange function then consider it is probably from the std namespace only now we can safely remove the std namespace now to run this program first of all let's save it uh, let's say file on the desktop or yep right here let's say hello world dot cpp and here you go so right now I've got a hello world program right here and let's execute it now click on this build and run button 
to build the program and the building means simply that your program is compiled and converted from a .cpp file from a .cpp file to a .exe file which the computer can actually run so just click on this button and you see that we got this hello world right here and some information from the compiler as well so you see that it's pretty much simple to write your hello world program in C++ so congratulations to start when that you have started your C++ tutorials on CodeDAM so I hope you best of luck and stay tuned with CodeDAM to learn more about C++ and that's pretty much it for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching